Welcome back, people. Uh, it is nine o'clock right now, and uh, quite frankly, I'm I'm pretty pissed because I was supposed to go work out at seven thirty, and I was meeting my training partner there. And today's sparring day, and uh, basically, I woke up at eight o'clock, and I have class at 9 30 so i have to leave the workout at 8 30 and because i walked to and from the gym and i completely missed the workout because i usually get up at 7 6 45 or 7 i had my alarm set i naturally wake up at 8 o'clock and i go and turn try to look and see i was like fuck like the alarm didn't wake me up so I was like, I'm going to check my phone. I grab my phone. It is shut off. My phone is not even on. So I hold the side button down. It turns on. It's on 100%. So I'm like, I don't know. I, I think that my phone did an auto update. And like, it kind of fucked me out of the workout. But maybe it was my fault. I don't know. I'm I'm not going to try to just go on the fact that it was say is the alarm and make some fucking excuse and just ride that but I missed the workout. I'm I'm fucking pissed at myself. I'm not going to eat breakfast because I don't I feel like I need to earn my breakfast. I usually work out faster in the mornings. So I'm not going to eat until lunch today. Um I don't want this shit to happen again. But yeah, I'm I'm still going to train today. Still going to get the work in. But yeah, I just got to realize that my morning routine isn't going to be perfect every day. Because that's where I feel like I get my momentum for the day. But yeah, I just need to roll with what happens and make make the, the best of what I can with my time. You know what I mean? Bro, I for real hope I get flamed for missing that workout. I am just so angry at myself I'm, I'm sure i'll get flamed by my training partner but that's just the way it goes bro everybody battles with discipline and it's still be being a bitch i should have fucking knew to wake up why my body not know to wake up because i do it every day in the morning oh well i'm walking to class let's go okay it's locked in i'm doing a session at four with my training partner but right now i'm probably gonna hike for 20 minutes and then do some yoga and then do some video editing bro video editing is like it's it's harder than you you would originally expect it's very very time consuming but anyway hike a little bit edit the video do a yoga session and then probably go eat something and then train but yeah, it's a good day. It's a good day. I believe that it's good to get outside and get some sunlight in your eyes. Um, a lot of, <clears throat> if you actually like research it, that like, there's a lot of studies supporting it. That just getting outside and moving can do wonders for like how you're feeling mentally. Like look up um, Optimal Morning Routine, Andrew Huberman. There's this really cool video that's like, animated so it keeps you engaged it's there's a lot of interesting stuff in there so go look it up after you watch my video of course the like overgrowth that's like in front of the path if this is something i do if either i'm running on like a sidewalk in the city and there's like trees growing over the fences or if i'm like trail running i like to like go to the side where there's more like trees and stuff and I'll like be running, but also be doing head movement at the same time. So like I'm running straight towards a tree and I like go dodge a branch like I'm boxing while I'm running. So yeah, bro, y'all should try that. It's, it makes running more fun and it helps with your like reactions. All right, I'm headed to the gym. Um, I spent like three hours, honestly just working on social media stuff. Like as a boxer or fighter, uh, 
kind of got to treat yourself like you're a business because a lot of the people that actually make money in fight sports is because of social media. Unless you're at the top of the top of boxing, you're really not getting paid a whole lot unless you got a social media presence. So that's why I'm starting it right now because this is my end goal to, to fight pro. So yeah, taking y'all on the journey. Jump rope is great for your footwork. Jump rope is great for your footwork, bro. 10 minutes of jump rope a day. I haven't been as consistent because it's kind of weird because where the punching bag is, um, there is, the ceiling isn't high enough up there. Like there's like beams, but this is the top floor, so. I haven't been doing it as much as I really should. You really should do like 10 minutes a day if you want to be a boxer though. And footwork growth. It all works together. Yeah, I want to start using a GoPro soon. Um, I just need to buy the tripod, honestly. Like I got the GoPro and I got like an extra lens. So the video quality is going to be upping. So, but yeah. Oosh, 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 oosh. Always shadow box as part of your warm up. I always shadow box for 10 to 15 minutes. This time around, I did uh, 12 minutes, but like somewhere in that range. And I like to do five to 10 minutes of jump rope and then 10 to 15 minutes of shadow boxing. And before you do all that, you do like mobility. You don't wanna Tear your shoulder off. The human body that is not conditioned is like really just not gonna do well boxing. You gotta build yourself up, treat your body with care. Honestly, if you're gonna go hard in training, you gotta go hard with the recovery too. Recovery and injury prevention. And to strengthen all those muscles that you don't really think about because that's usually a lacking of one muscle is usually the cause of an injury for another muscle. So, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of feeling tired, but I just get in the gym and I get the work in. That, that's, that's how I gotta be if you wanna be a winner. Talk to Tristan while he wraps his hands. Always wrap your hands, guys. Hands, a human's hands and wrists are not made to hit things, really. Our hands are actually quite fragile, so, it is imperative that you wrap your hands and do not wrap your hands to where you are cutting off the circulation, but you want it to be tight enough to like actually be giving you support. You know what I mean? I prefer 180 inch Mexican wraps or what these are called. And it's just more support. The cheaper ones are 120 inches, but uh, I'm really just not a big fan of that because I don't know. I mean, I just like the 180 inch better to be honest. And I, I know this is like what a lot of like higher level boxers use. And wraps really aren't that expensive. Like these are probably like 15 bucks. I got these from Tidal, but I don't know. These, these are solid. I highly recommend get you some wraps, 180 inch wraps if you can, and uh, I prefer Mexican wraps. Some people use like, they're basically like gloves. So it's like, they can take them on and off really fast. But these wraps are the bomb, bro. So I'm probably gonna do a workout where like the rounds are like specific on, on what is what. Uh, because when you have focused rounds and you like write it down and put it on a whiteboard or something and you like see it, you are like consciously trying to develop one skill or one aspect of your boxing, which is 
very beneficial because a lot of people that go and box, which I'm guilty of this, I did this for a long time, and I'm not saying that you can't ever do it because you still benefit from it because you're still getting reps. But having focused workouts, I believe will will make you better much faster. Also, I recommend recording clips of your training if you do not have a coach, which is kind of in the predicament I am in as of right now because where I go to school, the closest boxing gym that I really know of is like an hour away. So it's really not feasible for me to work and like drive back and forth, uh, do school at all at the same time. So I'm kind of just training myself. Uh, but yeah, when you are training alone and you are not in a gym, it is important that you record yourself and you watch and either you can send it to somebody and ask for advice uh, that someone that is a professional and have an online coach. And if you do not have an online coach, uh, just talk to somebody that you know that fights. I don't know, I've been doing it for a little bit. I can help with the basic stuff. So if you have questions about your own boxing and you have clips, uh, DM me at Tristan G the one on Instagram and I will do like a technique review for you and help you out Just yeah, don't be scared to reach out. All right, let's go get this bag working Put in work, boy. If you're training in a mouth guard, rinse it off after. And wipe off your equipment, your gloves and bag, and your boxing shoes if you wear them. You see, the fact of the matter is that a can of chicken has so much protein in it, it's basically like trend. Protein. Bro, I've got a class that goes from 6 to 8.45 p.m. today. Like, what even is college, bro? What up, people? Uh, we're coming to the end of the day. It's nine o'clock. Uh, my class was six to 8.45. So I'm grubbing this uh, rotisserie chicken. I got this for free from the school's campus cupboard. And uh, yeah, they like help students with food. And it's really stuff that's about to expire that comes from Walmart and you'll get it for free. So, and I'm not ashamed of this because like when I was younger, my we had food stamps and like we would go to the, like the food pantry. There's this place that my mom loved going to that's called the free store. So like, I don't know, I'm, I'm not ashamed in like scavenging, I guess, or like taking what I can get because if I don't take it, it may go to waste. Yeah, free chicken, dub. Anyway, adding on to that, uh just a little recap of the day so i only did i missed the first session bro i was fucking pissed but 
Um, I ended up getting a good session in the afternoon. I also hiked and did a little bit of stretching. Uh, I didn't really go crazy on the training today, but I got some good work in. Uh, I am feeling a little bit like groggy and like just tired. Um, so I'm trying to pace myself more. I think I was, I was going a little crazy on the training because I was working out like three times a day. And I think I just need to calm it down until like when the opportunity presents itself, which is kind of hard right now because I'm like an hour away from the closest boxing gym. But I'm trying to, I want to get a USA boxing certified coach so I can go fight in those events that have like, like trained fighters. Cause I still have the option to go and do like the like backyard fighting stuff, which there's some good people in there, but like, I got to travel farther. There's a lot of USA boxing events all over the United States. So that's really what I'm trying to do. But tomorrow uh, should be 7 a.m. We are sparring, bro. This is the first time I'll have my sparring on camera. At least I assume that my training partner won't really care. Because with sparring, bro, it's like, it almost feels weird to post it, especially if it's with someone that you train with all the time. Because, like, if I get got and, like, he's not going to care if I post it because he's, like, whooping my ass. But, like, if I, like, am, like, the better man in the sparring session that day, which I don't know if I will be because he's pretty good. But that's, like, besides the point. But, like, it feels awkward to, like, especially put, like, my own highlights with, like, my training partner. Because it's, I don't know, I don't know, it's just, I, it's a gray area for me, I think, like, that's why I think about it, but I guess boxing is boxing, like, if you take the risk to go do a fight, and, like, you're, you're doing it in a, a public realm, and there's probably gonna be videos of it, I guess that's a risk you take, but this is in training, so, I don't really know, uh, I'm sure he won't care about if I put the sparring in, but we will see, um, so I have morning session tomorrow, work, probably do another short session, like a recovery session. Uh, I said I was going to do yoga today and I did do yoga. So I need to do yoga, bro. <laughs> so my body don't hurt as bad. I also need to roll. I'm, I'll probably foam roll before I go to sleep tonight. But yeah, bro, tomorrow's going to be a good day. Day after that's going to be a good day. Also, these videos are going to be like every other day for like just like the rest of this week and next week because i'm going on a backpacking trip with my friends and we're doing it for like five days so i'm not really going to be able to post anything or even make videos really so i'm making the videos now but i'm spacing them out so yeah that's that's the deal i'm not going to be doing daily uploads for just a little bit I'm gonna try to get back to doing daily because like, I feel like that's that really feels like a real grind and I kind of like it. It's really hard, but I, I enjoy a challenge and I enjoy that I am like pursuing my dreams and goals. And last thing, I wanna thank you guys again. I gained another eight subscribers. That is like huge to me. And I feel like within a week or so, I'll be at like 500. So, I mean, yeah, it's nice. So thank you guys. And if you are new to here, please subscribe and like the video. Leave any comments of any questions you have for me. Uh, I'll answer anything, honestly. So thank you guys. Uh, have a great night and peace.